Hey, this is Barry for Aquarium Outfitters and Fish Store, and welcome to Species Spotlight. Today we're going to be talking about a fish called the Senegal Bashir. The Senegal is found spread out across a number of countries in Africa. The Senegal Bashir, also called the Dinosaur Eel, Dragon Fin, Gray Bashir, or Cavier Bashir, is a member of the Lobe Fin Pike family. They are just one type of the numerous variations of Bashirs that exist. They're more active, hardy, and peaceful than many other Bashirs. This guy is known to be semi-aggressive, and while they may or may not bother other large fish, there's a good chance they'll eat the smaller fish in your tank that they can fit in their mouth. They are recommended to be kept with larger, passive fish. The Senegal Bashir gets big, maxing out around a foot long. They are known to be pretty hardy, but they have fairly poor vision. They have a unique set of swim bladder and gills that allow them to survive out of the water for a short period of time, provided they stay moist. It's crazy. This fish can actually drown if it's denied access to the atmospheric air. 77 to 80 degrees is optimum, a pH of 6.5 to 7.5 is good, and a KH of 8 to 12 is best. These guys have been known to jump, so make sure you have a secure lid on your aquarium. They enjoy having rocks and driftwood in the tank. They do well with plants in the tank as well. They are carnivores and enjoy meaty foods, fresh, frozen, or freeze-dried such as worms, shrimp, and krill. They may go after pellets as well. It's funny, my Bashir actually loves the veggie tabs that I drop in the tank for my bottom feeders. He picks them up and carries them around as he chomps them. The minimum recommended tank size is 90 gallons. Anyone who's talked to me about my semi-aggressive freshwater tank has probably had me tell them that he's my favorite fish in the tank. So what are your thoughts on the Senegal Bashir? Love him? Hate him? Did they kill everything in your tank? Comment below. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. This is a long-lived fish and have been reported to live close to 30 years in captivity. I may need to put mine in my will.